Aggregate functions are used to summarize data in a table. The rows are divided into groups and aggregate functions are applied in order to return just one value per group. And just to explain what we mean by dividing the rows into groups, if we take a look at our books table, we know within the gender column we have two distinct values, which is we have male and we have female, and all of our autos falls in, into one of these values. We can divide that column into groups, and the two groups would be we have the male group and we have the female group. And then we can now use the aggregate function to perform different analyses or find out information or return specific, uh, specific values of whichever group we want, either the, the male, male group or the female group. Now, aggregate functions are often used with the group by and having clauses of the select statement. We haven't used the group by and having clauses yet, but we will be doing that shortly. The aggregate functions we'll be looking at, uh, uh, we have the count function, we have average function, the sum function, main function, and max function. Count functions are used to return the number of rows in a table that matches a specific criteria. And they, when we use a count function, it ex excludes the null, the null value. So whenever the, the result set is returned, all of the result has to have a value, which means it, it, it has to be not null. Let's switch over to SQL Server and see how we use the count function. I'm just going to make a comment and we'll call this aggregate function. Maybe have the function sign. Okay. Now let's say we want to find out the total number of books we have within our books table. Let's print out our books table first. Okay. By doing this, this just shows us all of our records, right? But what we really want is we just want a value. We want to know what's the total number of books we have within our books table. Now, looking at this table, you may think that perhaps there's a couple of um, one or two columns we could use to find out this information. Let's look at the book ID. Clearly, we cannot use the book ID for a number of reasons. One, the, although we have it as you know the as numbered as one two three four and, and it goes all the way down, but the book ID could really be anything. It could be it could be an alphabet. It could be a combination of alphabets and numbers. So we, we really can't use the book ID to find out the total number of books we have within our table. Now, if we look at the title, yes, we know that you know each title is a record within our table. So by counting the total number of you know records within the title, that should give us the total number of books within our table. But again, there's really we, we can't just look at by just looking at the table, we can't really you know looking or looking at the title column. There's no way we can really tell what the total number of you know of books we have within our table. Now we do have the row number or row numbers, which is the first column that we have here. Now you may you know again think about, well, we know this counts the total number of records we have, and we do know that each title is. Um, each record has a title. It's not like within our table we have uh, a, a title that's repeated more than once. So we know that for each title that is one record and since the row number tells us that we have 24 records or 24 rows, that means we have 24 books. But that's not true because if we look at our title, we know that Peter McBride does not have a book within our book, you know, within our table. It's a null value, which means that we, even though it's, you know, the, the row number says 19 
and yes it's you know it is our 19th row but we can't really use the row number to then determine the total number of books it's also possible that we could have multiple nulls within our table and and, and again that's really just true it just throws away using the row number Another reason why we cannot really use the row number is right now we only have 24 books and we're able to see that just, you know, within a snapshot, we have all of that information right in front of us. But if we add a book record of, you know, if we had like over a thousand or tens of thousands, which is possible, I mean, think about a library, there's tens of thousands of, I know most libraries are going electronically now, but even, even that, that's, you know, that's still very much relevant. You know, there is assuming we have tens and thousands, tens of thousands of books within our within our database or within our table. Typically, that would well, that that actually would not be. It won't be presented to us within a screen. We would have to actually like scroll, while well, we'd have to click on next to view the different pages of all of the books. And this could be in, you know, it could be tens of pages I would have to click through to get to the very last book within our table or within our database. So that's also not an efficient way to find out the total number of books we have. Plus, even if we do that, we know that we may have title, we may have records that are null, you know, that are null value. So that again doesn't solve the problem of finding out what the total number of books we have within our table is. Using the count function solves that problem because by applying the count function, it counts the total, it counts the number of records and it excludes all the null value. So we could pass that onto you know, our title to, since we know that a title, you know, each title is one record, we can pass the count function on the title column and we know that would exclude all the null values within that type, within that column, which means by doing that, now we can have an accurate number of books within our table. Let's see how we do that. So we have our select keyword, and then the next keyword will be count, which is the function. Now remember, whenever we use a function, just like when we use the string function, the argument has to be in bracket or parenthesis. So we have uh, the bracket. Now we can we can pass it a star, which is saying, give me all. And I'm just going to write out the query for first so from books. Right. So what this is saying is that give give me a count. What's the total number of records within our table? This is what this you know by saying select count star which is all. It's saying give me a count of all of the records from our books table. When we run this, it tells us we have 24. 24 records which is accurate but if we wanted to find out what the total number of books we have then we would have to pass that on the title because again we know each record belongs to a book so if we say select count now instead of star we just have our title and then from books and when we run this it tells us we have 23 books or you know 23 records within our title column which equals the total number of books that we do have we could use a count function also to find out the total number of last name we have within our table so let's say select count and we'll choose author last name or well, from books when we run this it should tell us that we have 24 because again the total number of rows we have is 24 but we know that within our author last name we have authors who wrote multiple books so um, sue watson for instance has two books in our in our table we know that the, we know that there is johnson there's two different johnsons within our table we know that there is also um, grant cadon was two books within our table as well so we could use the distinct 
keyword to find out this, the, the, you know, the total number of distinct um, last name within our table and then pass the count function to count the total number of distinct values. So to do that, we would say, we'll type select and let's just go with distinct first, select distinct. And what we want is we just want the author last name from books. And when we pass this, it will tell us, it's telling us that, well, just count on this, that we have 20. And, and if we wanted to just have the count rather than just printing out, I'm just gonna copy this. And all we need to do is just have the count. So we have the count, and then we'll put this in bracket. So what we're saying is that we wanna count this value. We know that this query gave us this record so we by using the count, we're saying give us the total number, just the total number in one line of the total number of this record or the total number of whatever um, rows we have in this query. And that's why we have here to so select count of the distinct author last name from books. When we run this, it shows us we have 20. Um, so what's happening now is instead of having Johnson counted twice or Cardone counted twice or Watson counted twice, now we have distinct value for those. Now, I haven't said that we also have to remember that Johnson, for instance, we have two separate Johnsons, I believe. Uh, let's take a look. So we have Adam Johnson, I believe. Let's, let's see. Last name, we're looking at last name. So we have Adam Johnson and we have another Johnson, why can't, okay, and Catherine Johnson. So by just doing, by just running a, a count of the distinct last name, it's assuming it, what's really, it's just merging Adam Adam Johnson and Adam Johnson and Catherine Johnson together, which is which will be you know providing the, the wrong information because this, this two Johnsons are different people. Now the you know about just thinking about it, what you would want to do because you know we we talked about we used the distinct previously, and I'm gonna copy this. So if we were to you know for us to get the distinct value of but our auto and last name, you know what comes to mind is that you want to do something like this. Um, so we have the auto, and I'm going to put auto auto's first name first auto first name, comma. So this will give us our distinct value, right? And it's telling us we have 21 distinct auto, which is correct. And you you know, the first thing you would think about then is to just put a count here and, and close this and run this. But already we can see that we have the, you know, the arrow, you know, those highlighted in red or sort of like underlined in red. And that's because with the count function, you can only have one argument inside of that bracket. Um, in a late, subsequently, I would tell you, I would show you how, you know, we can solve this problem in which we're able to get the count of the distinct value of both the author's first name and the author's last name. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete this. I just wanted to point that out. So what if we want to find out the total number of, of female within our table? Well, we, we know we can use the select, let's say we select all from books and we could use the where clause and we say where gender equals female. So this will give us a list of all of our female within the books table. Now all we need to do to find out the number and, and we can run this. Let's run this. So it, it gives us the total, you know, we see we have a snapshot of all of our female um, authors within our, our book. But all we need to do is we can just pass the count function. So we'll select count and we can just say all, cause it's just gonna count us the total. It's just, it's probably just gonna count this record. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's just gonna count all of that records once we pass this, this query. So, so count of all from books 
and we have where gender equals female and when we run this it will give us that value of 9 and of course we could use a we can use an alias and we'll just pass the alias right here as um, and we could call this total total female autos okay and when we run this just gonna break that down okay so now we have total female autos 9 what if we want to find out the total number of books within a table that has the that has a title with the word THD within the title? Uh, in the past, we used the the in our wildcard and, and we used the like keyword with the percentage wildcard, and that's what we can we and we're going to do the same thing. So what we want to find out is give me the total number of books within our table that has the within its title. So I would say select and we'll just, I'm, I'm gonna, before we use the count, I'm just gonna select all, just so you remember, from books where title, and then we have the keyword like, and then we have this, and we have the, right? So this would, you know, if we were to just run these, this would give us all of our books or all the records within our table that has a title like V. Now, if we just want a count, all we need to do is just, just have the count and we'll just, we want all information. And when we run this, it gives us eight. And just to, I'm just gonna copy this and so I'm just going to take over the count just so you, you see that I'm not lying <laughs> and if we run this we have eight so let's just run this together right so um, that's another way we can use the the count function